let me get straight to the announcement section for you. And again, guys, I'm going to put this post. If there's one link that you want to keep in your back pocket, it's this one right here. It's the announcement section. Always head there for the latest and greatest. And I, and I did create a video recently this week to show you how to navigate this group because this group in itself has got so many resources. But if you're new or maybe you just haven't really used it, you wouldn't know where to begin. So let me just share my screen really quickly. So announcements. Well, I pin everything I possibly can that's relevant. Like right now we're in the mastermind. You can see each other, everybody right there on the mastermind. But there's a lot of other things that you want to look at. Like, for example, we have a contest coming up. October is a contest where everybody gets free coffee. How do you get free coffee? Well, you just send your affiliate link to anybody you think that would be a, a good fit for Street Text. And you don't want to just send any generic link. We have a, a video that Steve made on how to update that and make that your own. So I'll give you some examples right now. Um, Jennifer's created her own link and she's got her own video in there. There's Josh with his own link. So again, if you're going to share it, why not share it with your own story instead of it being me there? <laughs> have, it, have it be you there talking about your experience and especially if you're growing a team or you just you know you have some people in mind because you get free you know street text marketing money for that and this month we're gonna run a little contest um and the contest well gosh i went over the place here uh the contest itself is gonna reward you and that person so it's not just the that you're getting coffee they're getting coffee too from starbucks everybody gets coffee so it's fun it's fun. It's just going to be a fun way to do October um, and, and to share street text. Um, so Steve has a little video in the announcement section on how to update that and make it your own because you want it to basically go grow with your name. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And um, there's a couple other things like every, every week we have the lead conversion workshop. A lot of you forget about that, but it's gold. You know, Linnea came on yesterday and she shared some insane gold nuggets. I'll highlight a little bit of what she shared. Um, she completely revamped her automations. I've never seen someone revamp the automations like this other than Wendy. <laughs> and now Wendy, I think she's going to set a new, new uh, standard for you after I show you what she's done. Um, how to navigate this group? Because when you're going into this group, where do you even begin? Well, watch this video. I, I show every way to find files, hashtags, uh, subjects that you're looking for you name it that video will explain it um, recently if some of you are doing split testing with the what's your home really worth ad i show exactly how to do that with the map instead of you know because you have to build that ad from the if someone were to buy your home would you sell it and then take that image and upload it into the what's your home really worth but you want to you want to kind of know that it's not just that image you're always going to use so a lot of that is if you look here well, let's play a game that i really wanted you guys to see of all the different ways to use the what's your home really worth funnel with different images that people are using and getting great results with so again all these things you wouldn't see right unless you went to the announcement section to see what people are using so get there um look at it it's it's gold okay and especially for you guys testimonials is a phenomenal place to start in the hashtags because what you look at is threads like this where you see how long people have been with Street Text and how many deals they've done. The gold is in the comments. All 150 comments is where you're reading what they're doing and how they're doing it. And so you just want to read, you kind of want to make it easier for yourself because I know you don't have a lot of time. Um, and then lastly, just don't forget, just use the search feature for almost anything you're looking for. You know, if I wanted to, let's, let's talk about a common subject, address only, right? If I just type in address only, you're going to see the most popular discussions and pictures and photos about address only submissions and what people are doing with them. Okay. So that's just some, some, some really quick announcements there. Um, now let's open this up to wins. Anybody have some wins they want to share? Oh, and I will share really quickly after some wins, I'll share Linnea's uh, automations. I'm really excited about them. Um, so we'll, we'll show you what she's done with Sarah, but, the gold on the, remember automations are beautiful but they they dwindle with opens so you got to be resilient at also tracking and seeing who's opening and then almost 
making those same automations as canned responses in your personal emails so that even with a slight change, so you get confirmation from that lead that they've gotten it, especially in the first week that if you're gonna spend so much time in your video automations, make sure they open it, make sure they watch this, get, get a reply from them, that's gonna be the gold there, okay? All right, let's open it up. Uh, who wants to share some wins? Don't make me call on you. Marcus made me do math and he made me figure out how many closings I've had with straight checks and how much I've spent and how much I've made. And I'm at 435% um, ROI. <laughs> 435 percent so that i mean and so what not, like, not bad right not bad yeah <laughs> i mean for for kind of like not like setting it and forgetting it because you're you're a kind of a set it and forget it type of person right and a lot right. of this times. i know and sometimes i'm like oh my god am i spending too much because i don't even think about it i just let that go while i work and then if it happens it happens so um i know that's probably not the best way to do things but um Someday my follow up will be so much better. <laughs> well, I just I just want to thank you for my Raider magnet. I just posted uh -huh. a picture uh, yesterday, so I got this in the mail. Stuff like that, like someone someone said, you know, <laughs> isn't it cheaper to just get the numbers from Title and give them an NFL schedule plus mail stamp and Facebook advertising? As you I'm know, not even sure what the numbers like. What numbers would you get from Title? Like the scores? Well, I don't know either. I just know <laughs> you ran that ad and you got what fifty cent phone numbers with that. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're still doing it. Um, I'm doing it till I run out. <laughs> Smart, right? Because it's it is. It's all after all. It's all about relationships. And you know, every time I look at that magnet now, I'm also going to see your your brand. <laughs> so, as a Raider fan. Um, so who's just said Raiders are horrible? I'm going to go after you, Eric. Oh my God. I'm go after you. Okay. Three and oh, that's all I got to say. Um, so more wins, more wins that, and, and good job on tracking your ROI. Cause that's a, a lot of people don't do that. And Wendy, how long have you been with us now? Uh, two years in November. Two years. Yeah. And yeah. you have a ton of leads in there. A ton. I know. I know. That's the thing is like, what was that that you guys always say? You should be closing like 1% of your database. Well, I, mean, I, kind of, I kind of feel like that's a street text database and I should be closing 1%. <laughs> I am not. Well, I mean, I think the key on there for you is the tracking side. And with all those leads, I would start from the very beginning again and, um, you know, help them realize how much equity they've gained over the last few years. Right. And I did hire Curtis. Um, uh, he has this girl that's helping me, Raven, reach out to, because I think there's like 6,500 now or something in there. Absolutely. So, so uh, she's been starting to reach out to people and, um, you know, hopefully that those will turn into appointments soon. They will. Yeah. Just, just keep on doing you. Um, more wins. More wins. Well, I can kind of back up. Uh, I can't back up ROI because I have not calculated that. So thank you for that reminder, Wendy. But I have to close a deal. So I've got a lot of appointments coming from Street Text. I will say the biggest win for us the last couple of weeks has been um, Wendy's suggestion about the lead magnet. So I put out an ad for the Seahawks uh, and all the Seattle um, sports, football, soccer, and college teams. And uh, Sarah has been calling on them and she has made contact, I would say with probably like 75% of them. Um, so I think that that's a big win is to actually like call them and make contact. Um, Marcus gave me some feedback on how I could make that a better ad when I run it again. But, um, you know, we got what I think like two buyer appointments from it. Um, and we actually had got addresses for home valuation requests from it. So um, I would call that a big win. That's a massive win. And while we're on the subject of your win, check this out just so you guys know. If I go to her funnel on her what's her home really worth ad? So everybody knows, well, hopefully you know at this point, the first email should be something like this, right? Super genuine, authentic introduction of yourself. Okay. So that's step one. But then check out what she does here. She's got day four, 
And I like that you're going outside and kind of, you know, that that's what I really love about your automations. And then you've got day seven, the value of community, the value of community. Look at you stepping up in this coffee shop, right? It's not just the normal home value thing that we're all going for and keeping it all about the home. So this was awesome. I thought you, you, you actually added that in. You've got day 11, the move once formula. And again, you're outside. So you're going in there and, and making it your own. Day 14, you add in the 12 tips. Smart. You take that 12 tips, add PDF, and add it into your home value automation. Day 18, you've created a marketing matters with a really fun family drinking some Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, really like what you did there. I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited to open it and, and watch it. Um, day 25. I don't know what's happening, but oh, you've got another one. Look at this. So, you know, day thir and then you got a day 32 about don't lose leverage and you made it a little bit. So that's the ticket, guys. That's the ticket is when you go in there and start making it your own and you can start customizing your text messages. You can start customizing your your emails, adding in additional emails and so forth. But I was what I was telling Linnea and Sarah, who's her uh, works with her on this one is all those emails are phenomenal, but then you got to go to your email records and see who's opening. That's step one. And then with that, I would also take those same emails, recreate them as, in Bomb Mom, they call it snippet, can responses, and start almost in the get in the habit of resending out a few of those just, just to get that reply, just to make sure they're opening it, watching it, clicking on those things you want. Because at the end of the day, those are all phenomenal automations. But as we know, Automations can go from 50% to 40% to 30, 20, 10, right? And then before you know it, you know, that that's the ticket. We need to make sure that they're all being watched. But good job. That was, that's inspiring. Can you show the community one one more time real quick? Yeah. I need to like take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, that's such a good idea. I love that. Okay. Yeah, I did the community one because I am actively involved in my community and I want people to see that. And, you know, if you're just going after um, a follow up and it's just like, Tell, give me your address, give me your address. Let me sell you something. Let me sell you something like they don't actually see who I am. So instead of hey. sitting there talking about myself the whole time, I just want to show who I am. So that's a quick like one minute video that I did with a local with a local business owner um, that just kind of like you know, the call to action in that, in that email is actually like, if you are a small business owner, or if you know a small business owner and I should shout someone out, let me know. So it's less about, let me try to sell you something. It's more about, let me be more involved. Um, so that's why I did it. Yeah. I love that. Cause I have the home and Henderson group and I'm trying to get people to, you know, post about their small businesses too. And it's just, they just don't. <laughs> So maybe if I just go there and do something like that, that's pretty cool. Or just put it in the emails. That's awesome. You guys want to see it real quickly? It's a less than a minute. While you bring that up, I got a question for Steven, Jonathan, or Brandon to probably answer this. As people start loading more videos into these things, you have the option where you can open a new target window. Do you recommend doing that? And the reason I ask is, you know, people sit there and watch something when they close it. The fear is they close out the whole page. Whereas if you do the open a new window, at least if they close your video, they're still in your street text or wherever you're at. Uh, I don't have the answer for that one. Someone That's want to chime in? Steven, Jonathan, or me. <laughs> you, just, you just need to click. So are you talking to the, about the bomb bomb video? No, so so if you look when you, when Marcus opens the video up inside Linnea's thing, you can see where underneath the very bottom will say new target or whatever. When you click that drop down box, it'll say open a new window. Things that when I do my stuff, what I've done in the past is I leave it so that when they click, it's going to open in a new window. Because a lot of times back in the day, people back out of something, they lose you or they close it, and they lose the whole thing, and then they don't know where you're at because they're surfing the net. So by clicking new target to open a new window, even if they close the bomb bomb video, they'll still be in your site wherever they found you at. You don't lose them. And I was just wondering because nobody ever says anything about that in street text for when you're setting up stuff like that and when the video opens the fear when they close is they close out the whole thing so i'm just wondering if they should select open a new window so a new browser opens up just to play the video 
and then when they close out they're still on your site so you don't they don't get away yeah I always set your links to open a new window i believe the bomb bomb if you click copy for email it automatically is already set up to open in a new in a new window i think so, so too but if you yeah just but if you add like links to your emails or into your signatures or anything like that when you go to set up the link yeah you do have the option to open it in the same window or in a new window and i would recommend that's a good tip leon um because that way you're, if, if they're not in an email client let's say they're in a tab on gmail it will then just go and open up and replace gmail which is not so great Hey, Marcus, is there is there a way for us to get access to, for example, Linnea's videos and correspondence um, without obviously clicking on her Facebook link? Oh, um, I'm, I'm sure we we could talk to Linnea about that if she's open for that. That would be just a matter of uh, figuring out how to grab it from her automations. And I, I mean, there's no way to just publicly put it out there. Um, so we'd have to just to figure out what that is and yeah we'll we'll talk okay because that that'd be awesome i know with my crm follow-up boss um if you want to you can choose you can choose to share your action plans in this case your automations um with other users so i didn't know if that was possible for street text to put something like that out there if we voluntarily wanted to share our automations to everybody else that's a great idea Wait so, for everybody else to access it. Yeah, right at the moment, we're actually working on our automation automation section. And um, one of the things that we are going to be uh, building is the ability to like actually add in a lead and then apply them to one of your automations within Street Text. But additionally to that, um, it's also going to bring us some more features where we can have branch, branched automation so let's say you're in contact with them and you don't want them on the seller automation and now you want them on an automation where you know it's more related to the fact that you've had a conversation um but also we'll be able to, now that we are putting focus on there we'll likely be able to then clone let's say Linnea's automation and then be able to publicly make it just like you're saying jeff there we're not another crm so it's something definitely that's going to be coming um right now the only way for us to do that would be to go into Linneo's account copy everything out put lay it out for you guys all in document which we could do but um we definitely want to make sure that that's or okay. or for Linneo us to first. click on our link and cost her a lot of money yeah, yeah, or you can just, yeah, everybody just go to our ad and uh, <laughs> capture yourself as a lead. No, don't do that. <laughs> so, so one one quick suggestion to people, if you don't want to have your numbers skewed or inaccurate, if you're posting a video sample into street text for the group, make a duplicate and post a duplicate into the group. That way the, they get to see the, the gist of the video or whatever you're doing, but it won't count against your bomb bomb numbers if you're tracking things. So even if you're uploading to YouTube, whether it's bomb bomb, any of those, just make a duplicate sample of what it is you want to share with the group and then post it into the street text insider group. And that way it doesn't count against your bomb bomb opens for tracks or your YouTube numbers or any of that. Awesome. I'm going to share Linnea's video and then we're going to take that right into Gabe talking about crushing the remainder of the year and giving us an action plan. Sound like a plan? Let's go, let's do this. All right, let me know if you can hear it. I'm gonna go from the beginning. Okay, we are here. Can you hear if I, when I played it? Okay. The Lamp Coast Coffee Roses, I'm super excited to introduce you to Val, the coffee maven. It's not just about what you're tasting and enjoying in here. There's a family on the other end of that is an amazing product. Love that so we're gonna talk about the machine roaster, not the human roaster. Aaron, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Master Jeff. He's gonna show us the roaster today and tell us a little bit about what he's roasting. Uh, I do love that Brazil Colombia, but it's kind of like saying which is my favorite child, right? Yeah. We value people. We value relationships. We value quality and craft, but we value people a little more. 
One of the things that Valerie is also truly, truly passionate about is her favorite organization, Grounds for Health, which provides cervical cancer screenings for women in developing countries. In the month of July, Grounds for Health is matching the first $25,000 in donations. Mention that you saw this video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna donate 10% of all those proceeds to Grounds for Health in Valerie's name. That is so cool. I love that. And I mean, with that too, you could you could create a relationship with them with your, you know, coffee cards that you send out with with some of your contacts and so forth. That could be a entire yeah marketing thing instead of the Starbucks cards that everybody does. That's your little coffee giveaway. Marcus. Yes. Got a tool for you that people may want to be aware of. If you don't have someone uh, to help you make videos like that, there is a free tool you can download for your phone called Double Take. Double Take will record a video where it takes your selfie camera and puts you in part of it and allows you to interview somebody else. So you're branding yourself and the business that you want to feature, and you can do it all on your own from your iPhone or from a Android phone. It's available for both and it is free. There are three modes, so you need to be aware that you want to make sure you're using the one that is picture in picture. Otherwise, it'll give you two roles that you got to merge. It gives you an A and a B role. But when you do it as a combined image, it's real simple. Love it. Share it in the in the uh, chat feature. Share it in the group as well. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will love that. I'll put it in there. It's a great Thanks. tool. Thanks, Campbell. All right, Gabe. Let's go, man. Talk about how to finish this year strong. Give us give us your uh, give us your expertise. Well, guys, I think <clears throat> starting with the goal in mind, right? What do you want to do next year? You want to crush it. You want to double your product, your production. You want to increase it by 30%, whatever it may be, decide what it is and then chunk it down to like the first quarter, right? Now that you know what you want to do in the first quarter, you know exactly what you need to do in this fourth quarter. When you break that down, you're going to have a plan, right? So I have like some forms that I can share with you guys one-on-one -on -one if you would like, but ultimately it's just, you got to have a goal. And I know you heard this before, but the question is, have you done this before? And my second question is, have you mastered it before? Because just like when people say, hey, I'm thinking about changing brokerage. Why? Well, I'm not closing deals. They're not really helping me. I go, look, let's get you to the production level where you want to be. And then we'll talk about changing brokerage, right? So why do I say that? It's because people before they master something and, and execute and, and monitor and track and all that stuff to prove whether it works or not, they just quit. They're like, I tried it, didn't work. Next, let me just buy some leads, right? And I'm not, I'm talking like Zillow leads or whatever, but it's just a matter of planning it out, knowing what you want to do so that you can know what steps to take and, and just go to work on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? So that's um, one thing we could definitely work on together. Do you, and, and I'm giving you the, the floor here, Gabe. So, and, and everybody feel free, like this is always gonna be an informal meeting to ask questions of Gabe. Yeah, this please, if you have any questions, any questions, please let me know. And uh, I'm also, I gave, made you co-host, so if you have anything you wanna share, on your like as a screen share or and if you have any of that feel free to um but okay, this is, yeah all right um well i guess the one thing i wanted to go over is the um it is the my coaching journey so yesterday in the in that little video we made i mentioned the freshman year i'm gonna assume everybody here is at least past the first year right so in the second year of coaching you know your income should be growing um, if you're doing all the right things and applying and executing, your business should be running like a business, okay? If you're still kind of all over the place, you're not sure where your production's coming from, like there's a lot of things we got to figure out. Uh, expense management, um, knowing where your lead sources are, uh, your sphere of influence, like do you have your database established? What CRM are you using? How many people do you have them organized by, you know, like, these are the people that give me business. These are the people that give me business if I ask for it. And these are the people that don't give me any business, but they support me. They click the likes, they comment, they share, but I haven't got a deal from them, which you will, right? Like Marcus said yesterday, 
No just means not right now, not yet. And then of course, social media video, which we just saw a really great video. Guys, if you're not doing video today, it's you're way behind. So can you guys just wave if you are doing video? Can you just go like that? I want to get a quick, a quick, uh, let's see. I'm on a delayed screen over here. Okay, cool. Nice. A lot of people doing video and that's good. Keep going, keep doing it. On average, I would say, you know, you want to put out as much as, as you can. I kind of have a rule. Like if I go show a property, I'm doing a video period. If I meet up with somebody interesting that I think can bring value to other people, I'm making a video. I try to put out at least one or two videos per day somewhere, whether it's my podcast, on uh, Facebook, coaching, real estate, whatever it may be. So social media, embrace it, make it a regular part of your business, but don't get sucked into it where you know, you're, you're doing too much of it. Uh, too much, but what I mean is like all day long, don't get caught up into that. And then there's lead management and follow-up, right? As a habit. So you have street text amongst your other sources, but the follow-up, like how much are you doing the follow-up and have you tracked how much, how many calls, how many contacts it's taking for your leads in your marketplace with your skill level to convert because everybody's different. For let's say Linnea that, you know, so far, just the little I know from her yesterday and today, she seems to be doing great online. She gets the leads, she converts. Some people, it takes a few more calls, you know? And with that said, like, if you're not practicing and role-playing daily, which I know you've heard of, and I think that's the most underestimated, powerful tool for free that most people ignore, role-playing and script practicing. Now, do you have to have scripts? No. If you just role play a lot, you'll get really good. Having a script will just speed that up. Okay. So I, I just want to encourage you guys, look, it doesn't cost anything, but a few minutes a day, maybe 30 minutes, do the role playing. I promise you, you're going to get better. And if you record it and listen to it again and again, you're going to see things as from the perspective of your client. And you go, oh, that's kind of ugly. Let me fix that, you know, or that didn't come off right. I've done it. I'm guilty myself. I've recorded stuff and I go, oh, that, that was kind of passive aggressive, you know, or whatever that may be. You're doing things that you don't realize you're doing that is costing you a ton of business. And I want you guys to just take that, even just that one little piece of info, right? How about hiring an assistant and a transaction coordinator? Most people, I know you have a TC, or a virtual assistant, you need to build your support system first. That's number one. Before you, you know, you get the income going, before you, uh, you know, just get fancier websites or try to get more business, build the support team. It's like a production line. There's three things you guys got to focus on. Generating business, going on appointments, and negotiating contracts. And that's it. That's what your job is. Those are the things you cannot delegate or should not delegate. Unless, of course, you're to the point where you have a team with buyer's agents, you know, associate agents, then yeah. But you got to first build the support team. I know it's scary to hire an assistant. I know sometimes, you know, it's like, oh my God, that's, that's a lot of money or whatever. But remember, you can start part-time. You can have an assistant three days a week, one day a week, right? Jam pack them, find somebody in your office. Maybe that's like a newer agent. They're pretty sharp. They are trying to get up and going and just say, Hey, give me one day of your week. And I'm going to give you eight hours of work, you know, manage my street text, follow up with my leads, you know, whatever it may be and get them going. And if it works out great, you give them one more day and one more day and one more day. If maybe they'll turn into your buyer's agent. But think out of the box when it comes to building your support team. It doesn't have to be traditional, like put an ad out, interview, full-time, workers comp, insurance. Oh my God, forget it. I'll do it myself, right? Think out of the box. It's super important. That's probably one of the biggest game-changing steps you can take is build your support team, okay? And then adjust the business for the growth. Your business right now cannot handle the growth that's coming. Especially if you master street text, you're going to be swamped. You're not going to have the support team. You're not going to have the systems in place, the presentations, 
you know, who's your camera crew? Who's your picture people? Who's your stager? Who's, you got to have that. So when I tell people build your team, I'm talking two things. It's your support team and then build your team. Like, uh, you know, in California, we do escrow. I know out there uh, in, in certain states you don't, but who are the people helping you with everything and make it official. Let them know, hey, you're on my team. I have a high work standard. Uh, so, you know, I really want you to have that too. So I'm going to work on getting us more business, but I want you to be ready for more business, right? And shake on it, make it official. And then of course, um, one appointment a day. If you can get to the point where you're doing one appointment per day, a solid listing appointment or a new buyer consultation, uh, that that right there will sustain you. You'll be closing two, three deals a week in you know six to nine months. But like I said, you have to have the support team to, to sustain that, right? And that's basically what I see in your second year of coaching or production, if you're following all the steps. And then of course, there's like th uh, up to five years in my opinion, where you're either going to make it or not. And that fifth year could be your you know, retirement year, you're, you sell the company, you keep going, you expand different offices, different states, you can do it. Everybody can do it. You just have to follow what's already there. You know, the great thing about real estate, you don't have to reinvent any wheels whatsoever, right? So when people say, hey, I have the secret scripts and strategies that nobody knows about, I just go, okay, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. I heard about it. I heard about it, right? It's, you got to commit, you got to go all in, you have to learn. That's one of the biggest struggles I see with people is why do they keep asking for the best CRM? Because they didn't want to learn the last one, right? Please master your CRM, build your support team and go all in with your business. Make lots of videos. Okay. So with that said, um, I guess, can I mention the giveaways now, Mark? Sure can, bro. Okay. So, you know, I've, I've been doing this coaching specifically for about 14 years, real estate about 19 years. And what I have learned is that when I coach people for free, they don't appreciate it, right? So I'm not going to throw out a, a, a coaching fee or anything. Here's what I want to do, though. I want to give away free coaching sessions, right? I do that. I already offer that. From the people that do a free coaching session, I'm going to pick the ones that I think are gonna go all in, even without skin in the game, that are gonna take it serious because they want to build their business to where they, you know, where, where it should be, right? So that's what my commitment is. Um, this is not some kind of collaboration with Street Techs. I reached out to Marcus. I'm like, hey, I see a lot of people that I think can be great in the threads. Let me talk to them, man. Let me help them. You know, you help them get the leads. I'll help them with the rest from there you know, to the end. So that's the giveaway is number one, sign up for a free coaching consultation, no pressure, no obligation. From those people, I'm going to offer you a month of free coaching, no obligation, nothing signed, just a Zoom link, you schedule it. By the end of that month, you can decide like, do you know, do should we keep talking or is just doing the street text masterminds good enough for you, which it is for some people. For some people, that's plenty. And that, that's okay, right? The goal here is that you guys uh, are successful, that you're getting the results that you signed up for. And that's the number one priority right there. Love it. So Gabe, I think you have a link that you can share, right? Uh, yeah, for the free consultation, yes. yes. I'll put it in the chat. Take advantage of this, guys. I know Gabe, he's made many of agents successful. One of my um, I'm most proud of people, uh, in August, he made 150000 in commission in August. In August? Uh-huh. That's awesome. Yeah, I can introduce you. I can, I mean, like, I, I'm all about results. No fluff. I don't have 47 pages of PDFs that are going to change the game for you. You know, I, I do have some videos. I have a course. It's free, of course. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. But it's just to be on the same page, right? Like. I am no fluff. I'm like, you want results? Let's go. Talk to me. Let's do this. So much of it is accountability, right? 100%. That's why I say coaching for free. Sometimes it's kind of backfires, right? 
but I'm willing to coach for free up front to evaluate who's ready to go and who's not. Awesome. Thank you, Gabe. And this is an opportunity for everybody right now just to unmute yourself, ask questions of Gabe while he's here specifically. Yeah, please, please. What do you need what do you need help on? What is it that is gonna make you take you to the next level with street text or just in general in your real estate career? What what would be that one thing that you feel? And we all need to take inventory, right? We all need to take inventory on what we think that is. And maybe we even need someone to come alongside of us and, and call it out because sometimes we don't even know what it is. Yeah, I have, I guess, a general question. I'm new to the street text uh, stuff. And um, it seems like the automations you all have would somewhat be a duplicate to like a regular CRM. I'm with Keller Williams and the uh, command system is pretty horrible. And to be honest with you, it has a lot of lacking parts to it. I'm not the only person that has said this before. I hear it from other people as well. So I'm looking at other CRMs, but I wonder, um, do a lot of people just send the people, uh, the leads that you get from street text to your other CRM? I'd hate to all of a sudden have two kind of CRMs going. It almost seems like I would have a street text CRM and then a regular CRM. And then I'm sure there's a Zapier, right, that I could integrate somehow, get the the leads from uh, street text to go into whatever CRM I decide I'm going to go to, which is most certainly probably not going to be the command CRM because it is pretty horrible. Um, you can't even send a single email from it directly right now, which is very annoying. But anyway, that's my question is, does anybody, uh, I don't know, do you have any advice about that or direction? Since I'm new, I want to set it up the way, the best way that it is. So I don't have to fix something somewhere down the road. Yeah, Brian, I'll jump in here for just a second real quick. Um, and, it, and it's probably not the popular answer, um, but a lot of us do use CRMs um, and use the first part of the automations for street text before those leads get email parsed into our CRM where they go into action plans or whatever, whatever they're called in the respective CRM. Um, it's just for me personally, it's just an easier, better way to cultivate those leads. Um, and I know there's there's other people that use Street Text as their CRM. Um, frankly, if I'm I'm already using a CRM, it would be superfluous for me not to route my Street Text leads into my CRM, um, where I've got all my leads under one CRM. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So you have it routed to your regular CRM after the first. Yeah, yeah you don't. And, and quite honestly, you don't even need to zap them, um, at least for my CRM, which is follow up boss. You can email parse them in and they will go directly in. I, I Troy or Brandon can hit on this, but depending on the CRM you use, um, email parsing is free. It's simple um, and you don't need to zap the leads in. Awesome. Thanks so much for that, Jeff. And I think I want to just add to that. I think you're on the right track when you're saying, you know, command doesn't do this, that, and the other. I, my broker right now, he uses many platforms and he has the support team that all know how to use it properly. And they just funnel them all into the one CRM that does everything, right? Yeah. So take the time. And I have clients that have command and they love it. So I think for sure it's perspective. Some Hang out with people that love command and you will start to learn it, right? Yeah. Hang out with people that don't like it and you're going to hate it more. Hmm. So yes, multi it's like when you buy leads from Zillow, right? That's a CRM. Then what do you do? You import them into your own CRM. So yeah. like I said earlier, what you don't know, learn it. Make sure you have learned it from A to Z, then evaluate it to see if it's for your business. If, if it's right. not really a thing that you want to do, like you know, master a CRM, then you're definitely a candidate for hiring support, a support team, right? That's like me, I'm, I don't consider myself a very techie person. Uh, I, I rather delegate that stuff, I honestly do. So just- Me too, um, <laughs> me too. Um, and, and by the way, I've, there's several people that use Street Text as their CRM, even though Street Text is not a CRM. You know, look at what Linnea just did. You, you could let the nine month drip email campaign be as is, which would do really not much because it's, it's generic, right? Until you go in there and customize your email signature, until you go in there and start leveraging video, until you go in there and start throwing in, you know, your own personality and adding in additional emails, it's just going to be more, more of the same. So 
that's the thing is you you learn those so that you can go in make it your own and then you know like for wendy for example also has it going to follow up boss also has it going to uh your her home bot as well so you start learning from people there's multiple touch points happening i was gonna say gabe i'm glad you're in here today because i've been saying for the last few months like i started my end of year role and every year it seems like i start my end of year role earlier because the results show up not only december but january yes and you're, you know the, the the people in here eric east just said something that i'm, I'm gonna answer to any platform you go to that has Facebook leads, they want you to sign up with a $300 a month commitment and $600 spend and this and that. And then somehow you're sucked by some vampire juice into Google pay per click and this and that. And it's not like that. One, one thing in here that, that's cool with the street text group, one of the things I'll say is you control your own budget. And, you know, Lania wish she did. I was laughing because that's like Wendy on steroids because I know Wendy's just bouncing around over there. But I don't even move most of my, I don't even move any of my leads into my CRM. I leave them in street text. I'll put them in HomeBot. I don't want to over deliver so many emails, texts, and spam stuff that they just delete me out. So if they like said the biggest investment is yourself. And if you're going to go ahead and, and build up street text so that it's doing stuff, once the leads are engaged to where they're doing something, by all means, move them to CRM. There's more than one right way. What works for one doesn't work for the other. So exactly. once I have engagement out of my home bot or out of the street text, then I put them into it because I don't need 3000 leads that are getting something from me every month. And if you're going to say cost, not everything's free. So I do run lion desk. I've got massive texts that go out of that for a campaign. So I haven't had to build up my street text, but out of street text itself, if you built that up at the point that these guys are engaged and ready to do something, they're actually off the fence moving then you move them into your CRM, then you move them into your MLS for searches. And at that point, that's where you see the success because you'll get the return on engagement and it gives you the return on your numbers. That's well said. And Gabe, you, you were sharing something on the chat feature that I think you meant to share to everybody, but you share it as a direct message to me. So oh. just change your chat feature to everybody. But what uh, Gabe was saying was that you have to start somewhere. You know, he said, I'm I'm the master of free strategies. Most of my clients start as, as struggling or new agents. I had a client who was about to quit, but uh, this year, now he's closing 50 deals. Mm -hmm. Yep. His name's James Bowerman. Look him up. I'm throwing out the names because I want you guys to know I'm results-based, right? Like I'm not, I, I'm not just trying to sign up clients, right? If I can help you with a simple free session, and we never talk again, but that one session, shifts your mindset. I'm happy. I'm so happy, right? If you want to continue coaching, great. If you want to just stick to street text, great. Marcus is my buddy. Like I'm doing this because he's my bud. And I see all you guys, you, you put your trust in Marcus and street text, and I want to reinforce it. That's what it comes down to. Love this community. It's a, we all collaborate, give value. Yeah and share this is what makes this this community so amazing and you know if you didn't come to these masterminds you wouldn't really know that there's so really much fun. business for everyone out there everybody could be doing as much as they want and there's still a ton more right i i know people say oh but there's so many agents like yeah but they're not your competition right they're not at all like if you're doing the things you need to do on a daily basis you're going to get your business you never have to think about them again they're going to you know fizzle out and uh they're not going to be around period uh, can i ask a question yep okay um so i'm brand new to street text i just started um like maybe with just in this month i did the like free trial and actually just came on board so um you know i'm definitely trying to get the rhythm down of how to communicate to everybody um my background is in marketing prior to becoming a real estate agent so mm -hmm. you know i know people like to be communicated in different ways so i'm trying to call everybody text everybody and email everybody but you know yes. like um like leon said you don't want to do it to where they don't want to pay attention to you anymore um right. but i think my question is you know i'm I'm wanting to put them into my CRM to where, you know, in six months or a year, I'm sending a follow up because not everybody is ready to buy or sell when they're clicking on your ads, but they will be at some point in time and, and you want to be top of mind. Um, so I'm just wondering, has anybody gotten um, leads, you know, early on and then closed them way down the road? Yeah. Cool. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. That's a yes yeah. from Alaska. Everybody? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyone long-term, you know, I mean, when you're talking about people that have been with us for more than a year and done 10 or more deals from Street Text, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of their deals are coming from. Anybody can get a deal or two in the first three months. Some people mm -hmm. don't, but all of a sudden, yeah, that's, so, that's the key. Just, just to add to that, you know, coming from other um, industries like car sales or marketing, whatever, the sale is boom, instant, you get paid next week, whatever. In real estate, it takes six to nine months to get it going, right? People can get a deal in the first month or two or three, absolutely 100%. For the most part, it's going to take you six, nine months, one year to actually get the momentum going where you're confident, where you're predicting business. And just, I wanted to um, add to your question. Sorry, I forgot your name. Um, Kelly. 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 <laughs> uh, I, I would suggest from what you said, learn personality styles, learn um, either, you know, like uh, with Mike Ferry, I learned a lot about the driver, the analytical, the expressive and the amiable, which, and then there's a disc test profile where it's more, uh, it, it's, it's different, but it's about the same. The bottom line is if you learn personality styles, you will know what personality style they are just from their responses. And it will allow you to approach them in their style and those people that say, no, I want to buy in a year might buy sooner or uh, at least you'll know their timing and motivation, like their true timing and motivation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've had clients recently, they were older and no text messaging, you know, but then I have some clients that are just like straight text messaging. They don't even want to talk on the phone at all. Right, so. right. So and learn, learn the personality styles. And I, I promise you that will help you to just engage more. And then from there you will sift and sort through what leads are going to do stuff now, later, or never, right? I did Dave, I think, I think that's a really good point that you made, especially for Kelly, coming from the marketing world to the sales world. One of the big transitions is from marketing, you're thinking about things in cohorts, you're thinking about channels and communication. In when you come in front to front, face to face with people, you're going to notice that one of the big, big transitions is that you might be a driver, and the person that you're speaking to might be an expressive or an amiable person. And so what you're going to want to do is tone it down or match or, or communicate in a way that, that celebrates who they are. So if they're expressive and they're excited about something, tell them you're just as excited because you are, but they need to hear it because yeah. that's going to really help you win trust. That's yeah. a really, really good point. And mm -hmm. to, to add to that, it's some... Just remember this guy, if you're not sure about personality styles yet, definitely learn it, okay? There's a bunch of free stuff on YouTube. I have one video on it just to kind of give you the basics. But remember this, you wanna pace them, like be on their level, speed, excitement, you know, whatever, pace them and then lead them once you have their attention. So if somebody's, you know, if you're not feeling like that connection, pace them, st just slow down and think, how are they talking? What words are they using? What, like, how fast do they respond? Do they respond at all? Right. And so once you pace them and you're going to feel that connection, boom, then you can lead them. Then you can be yourself a little bit more. Right. Well said. Any other questions? Uh, I'm going to hop off. I have a, I got to get on with my day, but if uh, I have, you know, I'll be here for another seven minutes. If anybody has questions or, if you would like to contact me directly, please uh, send me a Facebook request or send me a message. And I'm, I'm always happy to just talk, you know, if you're not ready for that uh, official meeting. And I dropped the link in just one more time. If anybody didn't get to see it or miss it, it's an opportunity. I, I mean, if you're already crushing it, like it's still an opportunity. Why not? Why not crush uh, yeah, some I have, more? A, I have a, I have a client. Have, I mean, I've had many in the past, but recently I have a client that just joined my coaching. He, he's doing about 36 sales a year, right? So it's not always about doing more business. It's about building a support team, management, time management. You know, you should not be working more than 40 hours a week. I'm telling you right now, right? More than less than 40 hours a week, weekends, appointments only, and closing three or more sales a month. That's where you should be with you and your support team period. And with street text, forget about it. I am a huge fan of coaching. So I think that's awesome that you do that. Um, I was, I opened my office eight years ago and 
I had 20 agents join like that. Nice. nice. I decided to start property management, started managing 50 properties and I still helped people buy and sell houses. And I was so low broker. Like I had no assistance. I had nothing. I yeah. just had a lot of alcohol and coffee. So, um, <laughs> That's the best I went, yeah. I went to a Tom Ferry event and I started coaching and it changes your life. Like, absolutely. Uh, it does. You know, absolutely. They, they looked at me like, Whoa, this lady's a hot mess. We need to fix her. And that it, it did like, you know, they just go step by step on what you need to do and smaller steps because you can't just boom, you know, <laughs> change right. overnight. Right. Um, but yeah, I did that for four years. So, I mean, coaching is great if you've never had it and you need direction. And, you know, even if you're not that busy, you can get that busy. But if you are a little crazy like I am, you need somebody to ground you. And, um, and I mean, they hopped into my calendar. They hopped into my financials. <laughs> And they're like, why are you spending money on this? Why are you doing this? Where's your appointment? You know, and it's just like, ah, it was, it was a little crazy, but I needed it. And, it, yeah. and I have, I mean, I haven't been coaching since, but like I utilize all the tracking and everything that is so important. So absolutely, if you I've, need I've, that, you should call Gabe. Thank you so much for that. Um, I feel like when you don't, know the value of something you won't do it like prospecting if you don't know the value okay watch most people don't like to prospect make calls right whether it's to your friends and family or or just cold leads why because they haven't gotten great results why because they haven't mastered doing it why because they don't think it works because they hate scripts because they feel weird because they sound like a robot get a new job right but the people that master it they can't stay off the phone. Why do you think that is? It's not because of their personality. It's because they got to a point where they go, oh shit, every time I'm on the phone for an hour, I get a listing. Oh my God, like if that was your reaction, I promise you, you too cannot stay off the phone. Remember, three things you gotta focus on guys and I'm gonna click off. Generate business, go on appointments, negotiate for your clients hard. Delegate everything else, and I promise you will do amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna soundbite that and make it a clip, and then you know we're gonna use it for street text. All right. All right. <laughs> thank Marcus, you, thank you so appreciate much. It. I'm gonna hop off, guys. Hey, Gabe, we so appreciate much. you, brother. My pleasure. Look, anytime, look, anytime. Look for Gabe on Facebook. I'll share his Facebook profile too. And Instagram, Coach Gabriel Dean. Thank you. Awesome. Well, there you go. So what's the one thing you're going to do from this meeting? Are you going to book that session? I see some of you nodding your head. I already did. Done. See, and Leon's a champion because Leon doesn't have to. He's already, but he's always learning. That's what I love about you, Leon, is you're always learning and bringing wisdom back to this community. Closed mouths do not get fed, period. Whether it's coffee and alcohol. Wendy, was that at the same time or did you space them, girl? <laughs> Bailey's. I should have done coffee and then alcohol because <laughs> that was the norm of day. Yeah. Um, I don't drink as much as I should now, but. <laughs> uh, but I'm a, I, I want to say something to the, we always get new folks in the group and that's good, but I, I want to direct this right at you guys. Not everybody in here just came in and dropped 10 grand and go, boom, I'm going to buy everything in the building. We, they, everybody started small. And like, even like when I came in here, things, I don't jump on every new shiny button that comes out. You do have to have a budget. And, and Gabe said it earlier and I laugh all the time. This is a business and a lot of people forget this. They got in this going, I'm gonna make a lot of money. And then they got a license. Like, what do I do now? There is no clue. There's no business plan. Kelly, I love the fact your, your prior background that, that jumped you like halfway ahead already because you already understand that aspect of it so now you'll tie systems into this to to make your goal of what you're doing but like um eric my boy thank you for serving um sometimes the cheapest things are the best things 29 bucks a month for something like bomb bomb you're spending 25 bucks a month for homebot it, it's like okay if i gotta make one I'm, I'm down to one coffee a day instead of three those two coffees that i cut out 
have definitely like uh they pay for all that crap i don't i don't miss the money but i'm, I'm getting a return on it so instead instead of pulling hair out if you have any what you need to do is just sit down look at what you have look at your budget um, if you've been spending 13 bucks a day on street tax, roll it back to nine or 10. Take that other money that's paid for a program. There is a way to find what you want to do if it's worth it. If you're buying a, two cases of beer on the weekend, go buy an 18 pack. That six you cut out, you're going to get it. So the, the biggest thing in this is desire, because if you don't want it, you shouldn't even be in it. And go ahead, put the stuff together. You have so much free advice in this thing, even just following. I, I love when I watch someone put something in an insider group because someone else will come like, how'd you do that? How was this? How was that? The questions are asked and everybody will answer. So if you feel like you're swimming um, in deep water, back up a little bit to the shore where your feet are touching bottom. That way you're still in the water and just put it together slowly. It, it, the results come. I'm like, I was laughing the other day, 2016, I started Marcus just stalked the hell out of me. Um, the automation wasn't quite what I wanted. I left. And then he's like, Leon, no, no, I got it. I got it. I came back. I'm still here. And, and it's always a, it's a great challenge to me because I hate to fail at anything. So I don't like to let anybody down, even myself. So I hold myself accountable in a mirror. And a lot of times when people would thank me for giving my time to them, yeah, I'm glad because you guys keep me on point. And sometimes you ask questions. I ain't got the answer. I'll go find it. We'll find it together. But that is the purpose behind this whole mastermind group. So, you know, sit down, put your numbers on paper, go out and get these things you need, put it together and just keep on rolling because 2022 is about to be here. How do you follow up after that? <laughs> <laughs> and these phones? Mic drop. These phones are amazing. Just do a quick video saying you got the request and send it to them via text. Free. Hey, Marcus, I texted you a video through Facebook Messenger. I was wondering if you got it or not. And also, like, it showed up as just characters and, you know, didn't show up as a picture for some reason. I'll double check. I'll let you know, and I'll give you some okay. feedback. Thanks. You, you, know, you know, services, like, make it big or big on Android, Apple. Like, this is a free service. Like, you don't need to, you know, buy anything for that. You can easily reach out. So if you're talking with your client whose name is Robert, you can just put, hey, Robert, your home value is behind this. And then just kind of listen to your face. So this is a free tool. Make it big or big, depending if you have Apple or Android. Yeah. You also got the whiteboard, the old school whiteboard. Yeah. It works. Remember, you are so much more aware of all these things than most homeowners are. The first time somebody sees their name in front of a video, it's boom. They just like, they, it, it's so exciting. It's so cool. And you're the person that gets to provide that experience to them. You get to provide them something novel they've never seen. And then when they click it and they actually get to see the home value and the information, maybe even if it's just a, um, a market analysis, think of the interest and the engagement that they got. So it's fun. It's interesting. They saw their name. They then get to learn about their uh, their market or what's going on. You're the expert. You you get to share um, interesting advice. Like there's a couple of things um, I think it's so important, which is it's it's really good to remind people that you're in real estate, and you know you have a sphere, you have influence, and it's probably more impactful than you realize because behind everybody that you know, they know at least five other people. And so, so multiply your sphere by five. That's your real potential impact that you can have. And when people know that you're in real estate and when you communicate value, they're saying, well, actually, no, I know they're in real estate, but they're really good at it. They know a lot. And, uh, and when, when they know that, and then they're having a conversation at coffee or with a friend or over zoom these days, you know, it's like, someone someone somewhere is having a, uh, a thought that they're wanting to get in the market they're going to think of you and then that gets there so when it starts with the um it starts with it you know with the everything with the with the prospecting with the videos with the uh, make it big with all those little things but just make sure you're always every day reminding people in a, in a really nice way that you're in real estate and you can wrap that into a story about someone else so when you have a customer or something that surprised you, and it, it maybe it made you laugh, 
share that. And, um, you know, I saw a really funny video of this guy, uh, uh, Sean, he, he, he found a, a drawer in a home he was showing and it was the coolest draw, drawer system he'd ever seen. It was in a kitchen. So he made a really quick, like 30 second video of it, posted it to Facebook. It blew up. It got tons and tons of views. But guess what? Like he thought it was so interesting. Well, a lot of people are interested in kitchens. A lot of people are interested in drawer systems. Um, even if you aren't even interested in kitchens, you're interested in drawers and storage. And so it blew up, but everybody now it's like in his community is reminded, okay, of course he's a real estate agent. So, uh, it's funny. It's like out of those little moments, those moments of surprise, you can have crazy impact just through your sphere. Love it. Yep. Yep. So one thing, the one thing, what are you going to do? Post it right now. We're going to hold you accountable to it. And I would take action with Gabe if he's giving that opportunity, even if it's just a check in to see if you're on the right track. Right. Um, you know, even those small things, take inventory, see what you're spending, what you should be cutting out, you know, where it like, cause everything you put out there in terms of advertising and marketing and spending is concerned should be able to be trackable. You should be able to at least track it. This is what I love. The, the street text idea is, is exactly that when you're spending money with Facebook, you are tracking it. What's my cost per lead. That's the most important thing. What's my cost per opportunity. And your opportunity is only as good as your ability to create the conversation behind that opportunity. So even with your mailers, even with the way you, you send, um, you know, email, if you're, if you're just putting video just to have video in there, well, that's not going to do much until you start tracking it to make sure that the video is effective, authentic, genuine. And then of course, most importantly that it's getting replies because that's where it's, that's where it gets fun. And so a lot of you, what I, I, I would recommend is take some time, lower your ad budget if you have to even turn off those ads for a second and redefine that experience you're providing maybe dial it back to a lead a day and give that lead everything and don't try to automate yourself out of it make it as personal as possible send the video text send the video email uh with their name on that that email so how do you do the like how would you do the whiteboard in a direct text video just in a direct put your camera on it or like with, uh, in a direct video text yeah because i did that well, the one i sent you was a direct video text my, my broker sent out a little like a uh, first day of fall suggestions to email people so i, I mean like, i would assume you just you know you do your little selfie thing and put like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah there's no one like great way to do that but okay it's more it's yeah i did a generic i did one that didn't have the name but i sent it to probably maybe a hundred people just copy paste copy paste and i tagged it up in instagram with little graphics you know and it, it, can i show it right here i mean will you be able to yeah hear me? yeah everybody happy first day of fall as you can see got my pumpkins out just want to remind you check those heaters make sure the filters are clean check the seals around your windows the seals around your doors and check those rain gutters it might just rain also check the score of the ram game <laughs> nice Find her response. I just directly sent it through my text. You know, all my sphere and, and people that I didn't even know were like, hey, that's cool. Thank you. So I like it. I like I love that. That's funny, rain gutters. I moved to Vegas. We don't yeah, have yeah. That. we don't well, have rain here in LA either. So that's why I kind of I was like, how do you hang your Christmas light? <laughs> you gotta shove them in the tiles. <laughs> Hey, we should do a video on that. If you don't have rain gutters, show them in the tiles. Don't fall off the ladder. I'm going to do a video on everything. And <laughs> it just gets response. I mean, for whatever reason, people will click on it and, you know, oh, you're a funny guy or whatever, you know, and it works. At least I got a conversation. What do they call that? You're all, all you're doing is it's mind share, right? You need to be the mind share for people when they think real estate. So if you're not doing those things, then someone else is. So it's up to you. That's the idea of social influencing these days. It's like part of you being on Facebook is that exactly what Linnea is doing with all those videos. That's the mind share. No one, you know, gets to know and like you without that. So especially if you haven't had that genuine conversation. Yeah, Maybe. I love that video Linnea did at the coffee shop. That's amazing. Really inspiring. Yeah, I want to do one at the winery. 
I wonder if they'll give me free wine for it. <laughs> I wonder if you can do one at the Raiders Stadium. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to get in there. <laughs> She does give me free coffee. Every time I go in there, I always get free coffee. So, oh my gosh. Well, well, so the other thing you want to think about that video. So I, I actually, I did a longer version on YouTube. There's about a 20 minute video, which is like a full interview, but you know, that's not appropriate for this type of thing. Um, but anyway, one of the things, one of the things that's really done is that now she has like, she like promotes me in the community. So like I share with her, like this video is in my follow-up that's going out to people. I showed her my results on YouTube, showed her my results on Facebook. And she's like, oh my gosh, she's introduced me to like two more people. I actually have a, another uh, business who reached out to me and now wants me to do host, help them host like a VIP event and I'm helping them promote too. So like the community thing is really, really, really important. Um, and people like it. It just builds a lot of trust. That's so cool. Or maybe flaming fajitas. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> sounds good. Can I light it on fire? <laughs> that would be rad. That would be rad. <laughs> well, hey, any last minute, last second um, questions, comments, anything particularly that we could help you with right now? This is the time before we let you go and get about your week. No, the only, the only, the only fault you can have this week is if you don't do anything at all. I always say one positive thing a day, and it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to learn a whole program or this or that. I don't care if, like I tell you, I will sell you a house standing in the checkout lane at Safeway. So it, it doesn't matter. One positive thing a day, because the, the way you set your mindset for the day tells you how the rest of your day is going to be. If something's bad, laugh it off. If someone's got a problem and attitude, it ain't your problem, it ain't your attitude. Although you might have the solution or a way to put them in a better attitude. I was raised where you speak to people. Nobody talks to anybody anymore. We're coming out of a, a situation in the world we ain't seen in forever. And, you know, I, I learned one day I seen somebody that had a really sad look on their face. And I was like, smile, can't be that bad. And they said they had can't, she's supposed to be taking leave. And they canceled her leave until morale improved. And I had to think about this because here I'm, I'm a supervisor. I, I guys go on vacation. I'm like, hey, family first. And I was like, wow. So, you know, you never know what a person's circumstance is. I read a story last night about a guy that bought a lady. He paid for her groceries at a checkout line, 17 bucks. Didn't think nothing of it. Two days later, he got tipped $500 from her family. And what had happened is the lady's husband had passed away and it was a, a, the anniversary and just the kindness of what he did. So reaching out to people, just, just the positive things we do. The, you know, what you give, you get back. And I always laugh. I say, what you give, you get back times three. I'll go to a rental car place and give my rental car up to someone that wants a mid-sized box and let them upgrade me because it's just those things. So when you say the mind shift and mindset, one positive thing a day, no matter what it is, and it, it can be more than one, but do something. So coming out of here, we have all this wealth of information and knowledge. If you don't use it, what good is it? So one positive thing a day. I love that. I think... It's so true. And, and then this time, like, I think one of the best things we can possibly do is just be like kind and just spread that because I was in the grocery store the other week and I was going through and the, uh, uh, the lady there, she's taking my bags and stuff. And I said, how are you doing? And she just kind of responded and she just seemed really bummed. And I said, oh, I'm so glad you're here because this wouldn't be the same experience without you. And, and that was it. And then I just kind of walked out. But it was true. And I think like, that's like, what a cool way to end that, Leon. Like, let's just like, in our steps this week, every interaction, what a cool way. If everyone has a little bit better interaction because they interact with you, that's, that would be pretty cool. One of the things that I have believed for the longest amount of time, you can tell the most about a person by how they treat people who offer them no financial benefit in life. A lot of people will give it up to somebody who they think is going to do something for them in return, but how they treat a waiter or a waitress or someone working behind the counter tells you everything about their heart. And, and I, I believe that my wife and I see that all the time and we work on blessing people everywhere we go because that's who we are. That's how we're supposed to act in life. If we believe what the good book says. Amen. Yep. 
I'm going to drop it right there. Thank you, guys. That was an amazing mastermind. Have an amazing week. And uh, anything that you want, you need, you just ask. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.